In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this beautiful slide in PowerPoint, where we have this element, the picture together with the icon of Africa and then some content on the left to support the message. It really adds that extra design thought to your slides, which I think will take your presentations to the next level. And we're starting from a blank slide. The first thing we want to do is we want to go to the insert tab. We click on icons and this opens the panel on the right. Here we can look for any icon that we want, but it's important that we go for an icon with a fill. So here we can see an example, an outline icon or a fill icon. And if you want to add a picture, you want this fill. So we're going to look for, let's say Africa and then click insert. We're going to increase it in size and then make sure that it fills about the right side of the slide. Now we want to look for a nice image. So for that, we jump into unsplash and here we can look for, for example, elephant Africa. And this gives us quite a nice selection. We want to use the free images and the orientation. It doesn't really matter that uh, we're going to fill up the icon anyways. So here we can look for any picture that we like. And I think the one of the first ones, this one could work actually quite well. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to download it in a large size and jump back into PowerPoint. Now we want to drag the image in the slide and let's increase it so that it covers about the icon. Ctrl X to have it on your clipboard, select the icon, right click, format graphic, and now we want to go for the and now we want to go for the fill tab. And we can see that the picture fill is grayed out. Now to avoid this, we want to go to graphics format, convert to shape, because we want to convert the icon to a shape. If you have an icon with multiple objects, for example here we have Madagascar, it is now separate with the mainland. So if we select both, hold shift. We want to merge them together first. This way they act as one. And this has opened up the picture or texture fill. If we then click picture or texture fill, and then usually it takes what's on your clipboard, so that works fine. You can always add the tile picture as texture if you see that the picture is overlapping on some parts. Then you can fill it to the entire icon. Now this doesn't look bad, but let's format the slide a little bit. Right click, format background for the slide background and let's give it a dark or a yellow fill. I think to match this yellow, it would be nice if we go to the image, picture tab, and then we go to picture color. And if we then make it black and white, you see that instantly it gives this totally different look of your slide and it matches better with the yellow, I think. Now I'm going to add some text to the slide. So go to text box and here let's type in Africa. For the font, you can choose whichever one you like. I like Avenir next. Let's try 50, it can be quite a lot larger. I think 88 will do fine. I'm going to go for the sub font bold. Maybe one more, there we go. And I'm going to add a text box below for some dummy text and that I'm going to add in here. It is white, I think it will look better if we make it dark as well. And this way we already have quite a nice slide, but to really tip things off, we can copy this box here and maybe add some element to the top left corner that was a bit empty. Let's say 33%. It really depends on the context, of course. You can increase it in size by quite a lot. And what I like to do is I want to reduce this percentage sign. I think visual wise, it looks a lot cleaner. And then position everything so it looks nice. And I think together with this image, so it covers about the right side, but also with this heavier part on top, we balance that out with the more open white space on the top left and then the heavier text content on the bottom left where we have this opening. So it kind of fits in nicely. We can easily create a duplicate and change some colors. So I'm going to show you how to create some different variants. And here I would do the text in white and then have one accent color depending on the style that you want with that 30% to really make it jump out. Now, as a last thing, you can go to format picture and I would also add some shadow here. Do like an inner shadow on that picture. This way you get that feeling that there's a layer in the picture. Quick tip, you can select the image, Ctrl Shift C, go to the first tab and Ctrl Shift V to add that same effect. And now let's preview on full screen. And this is how you can create this beautiful slide in PowerPoint in just a few minutes and you can create some variants depending on the style that you want to work with. But it adds that little extra. It shows you, for example, the subject, the elephants together with the Africa as an icon and then the text explaining what it's about. So you can really be creative with the content and match your topic. 
If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.